Sell me you guys. Welcome to Smoke Bowl. Today we are going to have a food adventure. Let's have for a proper blast on Arabic cuisine. So we are going to have mandi today, which is a Yemeni traditional dish, and it's done in various places in, a, in on this planet, of course. Yet it's done in India. It's done in uh, I feel Malaysia. Okay, but its its variant is not as traditionally, or uh, you can say, uh, very close to what it's done in the Arab region. Because it's of course originated from there. So it's basically from Al Khartoum, Al Khartoum uh, place of Yemen. It's done basically on a clay oven. You can say in Hindi uh, tandoor, or in uh, Arabic it's uh, Al Tabur, the the clay oven. Okay, they make it. Uh, like in a different uh, two uh, variants one is mutton one is chicken and the place where i'm going to go today is mandi al hijaz so yeah let's go for a food adventure let's go and have the flavors of mandi the you know how the yemeni food goes on how it is well and hopefully you enjoy uh, looking at the video basically Of course, you have to enjoy. Otherwise, you know, why would I do this? Of course, right? To give you the best experience as possible. So, chali, dekhte hain. Come on. Today we're going to have mandi. Okay, it's a mutton mandi. You do not get these kind of uh, dishes in Kuwait and the raisins. And there is some. What do you say? Dal and some cloves. They have given a good portion. All right, and it, the texture is really. soft you can see they have boiled it well enough i think they have boiled it or they have used a clay oven bolte hain matlab tandoor hindi mein sahi hai to or in arabic it's tabun mashi so we can go for that uh, our knowledge which i have given to you all and let's see how it tastes with it you get some marak Okay, uh, Marak basically is like a dish. I'm sorry about that. So it's a it's a Yemeni dish as well, and we can go for it. They have given some uh, vegetables around it, like some onions or uh, you know you can say it's uh, lemon and stuff. Then they have given also. Um, I do not know what is. This. I think it's a broth. It's a broth. It's a it's a mutton broth. It's a bit oily in way, but I don't know. You can taste a lot of garlic. And yes, this sauce with mandi, which is see, basically it's this way. So you want? So you know, you can check out on the. Instagram as well. So let's go on for and let's see how it tastes. Okay. It's good enough. It's not good. It's awesome. It's really awesome. Wow! It's like every bite to take is. You can say. <laughs> Sorry, it is really good. Like you can see that. See, look at the uh, texture for it. It has. It's very smooth in texture. And there is this fats. Uh, the portion of fats which they have done is really is good. Okay, it's really good. Consistency. 
It's so soft against against. The bun. And to it. It's so juicy. That. It's really juicy. And yeah, so it is it tastes really good. And I'm saying again like in good good but I cannot look it nabi bolo this ka you know the greatness of how good it is it's never enough. So here we go. Again, um, if you want to come for some mandi, for some yummy dishes, you can just go for it. Very shy, if you bar it, I think bar it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, and I'm sitting in a very low, like you know, uh, on the ground basically, like you can see me sitting here. So, yeah. See, I'm still having a look. And again, back to the, you know, the marak I'm talking about. I think it's not potato. It is uh, some pumpkin. Wow. I'm really into marak as I'm born here and living here for a long time so I have tasted a lot of maraks there's very few places where they make really good marak basically we just use tomato sauce and all that stuff and I just make it just for the sake of you know a side dish you can say or you can say the topping for um, a place known has uh, not known has basically most of the Kuwaitis and uh, they go to restaurants they make it for them majboos so they use morak, right? Just like this, and they don't make it well enough. They really do. Like this restaurant does. But yahan sahi se banate. Only the other dish, the other dish. I mean the soup. I don't know. It's too garlicky, onionish. But maybe I'm not. I'm. I'm seeing it for the first time. I've never seen it before when I was. Having mandi in other places of Kuwait. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Mostly they give this, uh, this spicy, which one I told you, the pinkish uh, thing. This one, this pinkish substance is uh, like a, it's like a paste, like you know, thick uh, paste or something. It's not paste basically. It's like a good enough for stuff. Yeah. So yeah. It gives a good taste to it, it gives a good kick. The tomatoes and both the tomatoes, but that's like a curry, the marak one, is, which is with pumpkin. So, yeah. I just tried together now. So, let me do it better. If you want to go next time for a money please. Have it together. Wow. There's everything you can enjoy with it. There's nothing that you cannot enjoy, right? You see I'm saying I'm about to finish. And this is the thing which I was talking about. This one, I just lost my balance there. Just lost my balance, so it gives you the authentic Arab. Of course, I'm in an Arab bowl, it gives you an authentic Arab uh, place. This is a normal place, not some very grand or something, but they have kept it simple, they kept it flavorful, 
the mutton is cooked absolutely the best i can say wow I'm done with it now i'm done it's very soft that's well enough there is even family you can come here with your with uh, family friends or whoever but mostly men come here mostly uh, women i think you very rare it doesn't mean that you cannot order order it absolutely order it it's a recommended place if you're, if you're coming in to kuwait for monday so yeah Let me finish it, and I will let you know. Well, the food was really good. I mean, absolutely amazing. Okay, it was amazing. The mutton was succulent. Rice cooked well. I think it's one two one one rice. Just to be more specific to it. Number of rice, you know, basmati rice. So you know, Aish mil basmati. Basically, they do it for man, the majboos. They use this kind of rice, and they are really uh, into it. I do not know why. Uh, here, it's mostly with that. Ha. Or to wo chawal mil the wohi use karenge. One, two, one, one. It's a rice specification. Just to be clear with it, it's long grain. It's really famous for the you know. Preparing Indian or Arabic dishes, so the food was really good. I hope you had a very good time watching it. If there is anything you would want me to uh, go for different restaurants or different cuisine, please comment down below. Please like, share, subscribe, and yeah, the cost of this uh, is around three k, three and half. Sorry, three and half to be precise. It's three and half. For lamb, meaning mutton, mutton mandi ke liye three dinar, five hundred, or chicken ke liye one dinar, seven hundred and fifty. This is one mandi ke liye. Okay, it's for one person. Uh, I feel for a more big platter, there will be its own ranges. You can find them on Instagram. You can find them everywhere. All right. So, guys, I hope you had a good time. Really appreciated your. Uh, uh comments i will really appreciate you liking it uh, this channel and uh, you know creating a huge community if you want more from kuwait please let me know i'm going to take you everywhere everywhere possible in kuwait different cuisine different restaurants please like subscribe hit a thumbs up and let's go on for it all right see ya peace take care